Now we do. Thank you. Okay. No sound, no audio. Oh, guess what? Hi. Good morning. There's Good a afternoon. button I have to press because the power decided to fluctuate, just go really quick, which resets everything and turns all the audio off. So. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hope your Monday's going well. You want to grab? Pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be happy to craft. So we had a power fluctuation because it's a windy, windy Monday. Now I get to, to try and reset everything I just said, sort of. Don't totally. have to. Um, all we had was the power fluctuate really quick, and that just everything. There was no internet. There was no. I had no computer. I had no streaming box. So I suppose this afternoon I get to run and go go make sure I have a couple of. Uh, Uninterrupt, uninterruptible power sources. So. so we're back now. So we're back now. Hopefully we don't have a part three. Hopefully we don't have a part three. <laughs> or four or five. We'll see how this windy day goes. <laughs> right. So. Pardon me, guys. Thank you for I'm bearing with us. The, the doggos. So, okay, if I touch the sewing machine, is it going to kill the internet again? <laughs> yeah, kill the internet. <laughs> it probably won't. Yeah. So, I am going to plug the iron in. Well, will that kill the internet? No. no. <laughs> I just, the last time I just barely started and all the power went, so. Right? I'm going to plug in that quartz iron. Did this you break a, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You got or it. it just pulled it out. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> I was raising that so it wasn't. My hand was exactly there when you grab it and start moving it up and down. <laughs> Safety third. No, I don't. I think someone didn't secure the needle. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't use a um, screwdriver when I put it in. Oh well. Yay, we're back. And happy Martin Luther King Day. Happy Junior Martin Day. Happy Martin Luther King Junior Day. Yes. Junior Day. Yes. So we did break the internet, Edward. We did. We did. Yes, Felicia and Odin break the internet. Is that a Wreck It Ralph? <laughs> Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the iron is getting hot. You are doing that. Um, I suppose I could tell people where we're at and where we're going. Sure. Okay, so we sewed the girdles. They're lovely, aren't they? But they just definitely want to stay this way. So we got to press them out. But before we do, I just, I just, Odin's going to zigzag the edges just to hold it as an extra precautionary so we don't rip these apart. We have the clamshell built and we had a fitting with that one. Did you break it again? I'm just trying to wash and make sure it's not. That's not a good sound. That's not a good sound. No. Um, this is automatic needle up the set button. That's also needled in. There. You okay? It's not advancing. All right, let me see. Excuse me. Bobby, excuse me, babe. Thank you. All right, we are not fully threaded, right? So. Oh, okay. There, there, there. That was something that I did one. not check. Yeah, threading. And then, I'm just gonna use our threader. Oh, your needle's off, look at that. You already bent it. <laughs> Oh. That's that's not. Well, it may have it may have meant okay. <sighs> yes, Nicole, you did tell you at least one thing goes wrong every time in the live stream. It's the drama. It's the right? drama. We had that riveting tale of the rivets. <laughs> Jerry Rig props. Hey guys, how far away are you? Do you think you are from finishing the Witcher cosplay? Oh, we're never gonna finish. This. Well, considering months ago we said, oh, we'll have it done by the end of the year, and now we're getting dangerously close to the end of January. Uh, <laughs> uh, eventually, in one day. <laughs> Hello, J Jorts. Hey, yay! Odin is live again. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Houston asked if I've ever thought about making a puzzle box from Hellraiser. Yes, multiple times. I've started it a couple of different ways. Um, and I keep running into technical problems with either my uh, my, my silhouette uh, non-cre-cut cutter or a few other th ways I've tried to do it. 
to where it isn't just sitting there and, and, and literally sculpting it the whole whole way through. So yeah, I've thought about it, but it just hasn't happened yet. Uh, I wanted to try and go to Discord if I've got the internet. You know what it's not liking? It doesn't mind it when it's a smooth consistency, but because I have all of the little chain links in there, mm -hmm. that's where it's getting stuck on because the needle, instead of having to go straight through, it's kind of deciding to go this way or that way at the chain link. Oh, okay. <laughs> where the other layers are flat together. <laughs> okay. So that's what's bending the needle. Is is all the different materials. Is the chain mail in between the flat materials. Because so literally is, the softest thing in the sandwich of stuff is what's what just because it's because it's knocking that needle to one side or the other okay and so it's it because it's not going straight up and down right and it's kind of moving around in there it's knocking it it's knocking it okay so the needle is yeah it's not a necessary step it was me just not wanting to break this right so let's just skip this part <laughs> Well, it, it won't work if you go straight. Instead of zigzagging, well, you know, if you, if you we just, could we just run a second. We could do a, just a second straight uh, stitch. That would right. probably work, yeah. Then, As yeah. opposed to me just completely giving up on this altogether. Well, give me, yeah, give me a chance and I'll try and, and, and do a straight stretch on it. I'm just going to quickly look at my Discord. I set up a Discord chat with my patrons because um, it's really hard sometimes to keep track of everything that's being asked with the, uh, the live stream chat. Depending on the size of the stream, there's been times when it flies by faster than I can read the comments. Uh, I've got a lot going on right now from uh, Rodimus Prime. That was... That was me hitting the chainmail spot. That was crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I think we can... <laughs> so, Ronimus Prime 316. Hey Odin, I got a question. Can you tell me on average how many trains go by every day? I actually don't count, but there's definitely a couple they of them. They have a are. schedule. They do have a schedule. I suppose I could you look know, it up. They come kind of frequently, like every. Yeah, well, I know there's one every midnight because mm -hmm. how often I've been down here trying to do my VO for a video at midnight because it'll be quiet. <laughs> But at midnight, is when they run all the a trains. four mile long train comes rumbling through here, making, yeah, more noise than disaster area from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Seriously, uh, just get a train cam. Right, get a train cam. Uh, stream cut out. Yes, yes, it did. So did the internet, so I wasn't able to respond back. <laughs> the, the power just went out. That was that. Um, <laughs> It's always interesting. The only thing that Rodimus ever really wants, to, or Nicole, ever really wants to ask is my food preferences. It's like this, it's like, what's your favorite Subway sandwich? Uh, uh, it used to be the meatball, but now I like the Philly with cheese. Oh, there you go. The spicy Italian, uh, real simple on that. What's your favorite candy? Uh, peanut M&Ms. <laughs> the ones that are here. The ones that are here, right. There you go, it's double stitch. We're done, okay. we can move on. <laughs> Do you want to double stitch the other one? Um, oh. No, I already did that one while the power was out. Oh, wow, okay. So you yeah. actually got through while well, The zigzags, yeah. Well, this one's kind of it's a act little... up. All right. Well, I didn't mean to... You wanted me to do that. That's okay. It's all done. Okay. No worries. We have a lot of loose cable here. That's what scissors are for. Okay. Oh. I know. We have, We could use a, a blade on that. <laughs> no, that scissors are great. <laughs> yeah. No strings. Okay. Oh yeah, this was the steamer. Right, that was the steamer that plugs in. That plugs in here. I love this thing so much. Thank you, Courtney. I really love this. Yeah. Yeah. Courtney gave me this when we were working at Smosh. And right. um, you put the salt water in here, you put the lid on top, and you click it into place and then you plug it into the handle right here. Super dangerous, but it works like that, and it just, psh, and it's amazing because it gets really hot really fast. And I think there's so much salt built up in here from me using it so much. Oh, okay. I don't think I even have to add salt at this point. So salt help with the steam? Why would you want it salt anyway? That I just... think it mineralizes the water, so it gives the water something to stick to to steam. Interesting. Okay. I don't know, science. Yeah, there's got to be a reason for why you they want salt in that because I never put like if salt your steamers water into my travel iron, it's just straight water. Most of the time, you need a distilled water for like yeah. steamers and irons and stuff like that. But right. sometimes, if your steamer doesn't work, they recommend just adding a little bit of salt to get 
Like if your okay. water's too so soft in certain areas and things like that. Okay. I don't know, but this one you need salt. <laughs> yeah, because salt water seems like the exact opposite of distilled water. <laughs> right? There's a whole reason why you wouldn't want to use that. Right. Anyways. There you go. It's down here. Right, yeah. Held up a little high, but I guess no, it's you, a table. You can stand on the box. Here you go. That's all right. So they can see your girl. <laughs> There you go. It's my Captain Kurt Girdle <laughs> chainmail to protect me from gourds. No, but it's really, it's your size. Well, the whole thing. Well, uh, that's that's amazing. This thing will fit me? Yeah. All right. Let's get the ants out. And we got a steamer over there. Oh, no. I need a pressing cloth. You get a pressing cloth. There's, it's around here. You look over that big silver thing? Or do you want a different cloth? Um... I was looking for a piece of cloth. A piece of cloth. Oh, to okay. To use as a pressing cloth, and I know I have. There's a there's a few around here because right? the giant bag of cloth unfortunately is ten feet up. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, like is there there's some of the well there's some of the cloth from that's leather. <laughs> and there's a lot of plastic. <laughs> and vinyl. Some 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 fool went and made a whole bunch of nylon uh, costumes that are. Not going to be the best for, uh, um, I just took my, I had a t-shirt, it wasn't out here. Yeah, like. Dish, uh, I don't have a cotton dish towel, all I have are, are, are yeah, those micro cloths that are probably no, plastic. No, synthetic, yeah, it'll melt. And then I've got another micro, that's probably synthetic. Um, yeah. No, that's that's the yeah, hood, no, right. Hey, okay, I'll look. I'll find you look okay. You say hi to people. Hi, people. So, let's see. Let's, let's say hi to people really quick here. What's your favorite organ? Asking for a friend. Liver. Skin. Um, you're back. Broke mirror screen goes down. Coincidence? Freaky. Robo Orion. Well, well, we 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 broke the internet locally anyway. <laughs> it's just within the building. Uh, Linda Pfeiffer, have you ever thought about making the Flims de Ver? Um, someone else has asked about the Flims de Ver before, and I see that it's getting pushed on uh, Netflix again. I'm not against it. That's that. That's a that's a fun, goofy prop. That would that would be that'd be interesting because it's got all the uh, it has all the, the the dials and the buttons, and then it's specific, specifically the the display. And if the display wasn't just a gel that was backlit, but was actually graphical, that could be interesting. Oh, okay, uh, you have nothing that works. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. You have a rayon t-shirt from your old costume. I'm gonna use that. What now? Your Hawaiian shirt, it's rayon. <laughs> it's rayon. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna use one of these paper towels. Okay, well, I'll look really quick. It's okay. So why is a pressing cloth important? There you go, why is a pressing cloth important? Because you don't want to melt your stuff. I had it plugged in, but I didn't turn it on. Ah. <laughs> Shouldn't have broke that mirror, Odin. <laughs> That's right, I did. It's all your fault now. Art Man wants to know, hey Odin, are there different tiers of your Patreon? Yes. They're not. Uh. You found some cotton. Yeah, I just had to dig down to the right. right yeah, I've got a couple of different uh, tiers. I've got the the base tier that 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 that's you know the the, the base tier. Uh, the next one gets you uh, credits in the end of every one of my produced videos, where or I have my thank you at the end and all of your names scroll by. And then I have another tier where I uh, send out a uh, a pin and. Um, I'm trying to think, was there something else along with that went along with that? <laughs> May not be. Uh, I've been trying to, to, to more define exactly how my tiers work, um, but also the, the $5 tier and the $10 tier get you onto the Discord server. So the, uh, I, I think, or I think it's open to everybody. Anyway, 
I need to admit that I need to uh, double check and make sure uh, how well and, and, and what tiers are working and aren't working on my Discord. Uh, excuse me, not Discord, on, on my Patreon. And um, I do have different levels. I just don't, I don't think I feed it enough. I think, I think I'm pretty much doing the stereotypical, here's my patron, and then nothing really happens with it. It's, it's really kind of sad. Working on it. Work, working on it. Work in progress. Work, work in progress. And, and just feel like I'm behind on a lot with, with that. But um, I also generally feel like I'm behind on, on a lot of things because I just feel kind of overwhelmed. It gets to a point to where I've worked on my video and I just want to be done for the day. <laughs> right? So which, you know, doesn't help. Sorry. It's okay. Just figured when you put it down, you put it on the stand. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can put it on the PVC thing that I, I just flipped over and tried to fix. So you can always make a big iron mark and ruin so it. So we're to centimeters want. now. It, uh, no, it's back to inches on this edge. I thought okay. It was centimeters. Oh wait, you're right. Sorry, the centimeters looked like it was though, and then it might be centimeters no, on that inches. side. Okay. It's yeah, this is, it's a half inch grid, and then it's got centimeters marked on it on the edges, which sort of work. <laughs> so I'm pushing the seam allowance to the side seams. Does okay. Does that make sense? Right. So see this little. Bit? I see the little thing. Yeah. Instead of splitting it open like I did with these ones. Right. Because I the, am the pushing nail. it to to the side. This side. And we're going to have this whole little rib, which is going to work like boning, giving you some structure and support right there. Yeah, so that. it doesn't wrinkle when you're slouching. Does that right. make sense? Or helps you prevent slouching. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> going to be sitting straight up in it. <laughs> but anyways, that's, I wanted to Long let you know. Long time ago, I actually had a corset on. There was a, there was a, a place I was at uh, that had both uh, male and female corsets, and so they, they laced that's me up into sweet. a male corset. And that was interesting to wear. I've laced a lot of people up in corsets over yeah. my course of my career. <laughs> well, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it definitely holds you nice oh, up yeah. and straight. Like, oh, I feel like I've got proper posture. I bet I'm an inch taller. <laughs> Supports your back. Sorry, I'm not trying to burn you. And oh, no, you're not. You're fine. Yeah. I don't think you've threatened me. No, I don't. I was, for there, I was think I was afraid I was going to. Oh, okay. And I'm not trying to. Yeah, I know you're not. Oh, look it. It's like the heat works. It's just relaxing into where it's supposed to be. Nice. But I need the right. clapper to hold it, but I don't need it because I'm just going to squish it with my hands. Oh, okay. But technically that's what you use a clapper for. Okay, okay. It's the hot and the cold. The hot and the cold. Yeah, you use a... What's that thing? A plamish shirt? Uh, a plumbus. <laughs> no, I use a plumbus. Well, I got the planisher stick that I'm using to, yeah, it's so hot just, and cold to, to force things into a compound curve. Yeah. So yeah. I'm doing just the curve of the seam. Right. You're, yeah, okay. So it's more or less the same thing. You just got to work them so that they're flat and do the way you want them to as opposed to the way they want to. Right. Which could be all over the place. It is all over the place. Oh, interesting. What's interesting? Um, I just walked away. There's no way I would remember the name. Uh, <laughs> Agnico Fire King. Ang Angico? Anyway. Um, is asking, hey, Odin, is there, this is a bit of a weird question, but would you ever consider doing another living prop, like the face hugger, or maybe something more standard, like a bird? Hmm. Living as in? Living as in... Most of my props are mechanical or, or are a tool type of, you know, a weapon that you hold. Yeah. Uh, living being, the face hugger is supposedly a living creature, right? Oh, okay. Uh, and I think, yeah, that is the only one, right? I think so. The next closest is going to be the right-handed doom. Um, yeah. I just haven't really necessarily... Saw one you weren't interested in yet? Right. Yeah. And, and doing a bird? Okay. Can't, you know... Just general, you know. Is there like a famous bird? That was kind of the thought that comes I to can mind. Make a bird? Like, yeah, a bird? Yeah. <laughs> um, but we're live. But we're live. <laughs> it's not a flock of birds we want to have right now. Um, yeah, I have no problem with that. I. It has occurred to me that I haven't done a facehugger type prop again. Oh, and a prop that I've thought about on a couple of occasions, I just haven't done yet, is a head crap. Uh, it's another head half life prop I wouldn't mind doing. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I haven't, I really haven't 
Haven't done one. Actually, the headcrab then, then kind of blends into being a whole co doable cosplay. Because if you do the headcrab, you just need to have the finger extensions. And then you've got the torn up zombie lab coat and tie and everything else that goes along with it mm -hmm. in the game that's all scientists. So, you know, they have one um, yeah. asset oh. that they just reuse throughout the full game, basically. Yeah, no, it makes oh, sense. Although, you know, canonically within the universe, it could affect anybody dressed in any way, but you know, it's a game from the 90s, so no, <laughs> it had one model. I can appreciate. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I would totally be interested in, in doing another one if I come across one that, that catches my attention enough to actually do it. Uh, Rick Skinner is letting us know to use a number 110 sewing machine needle. It's what I, what he uses on le leather, or for thicker leather, leather the number 120. What the, Which one did you get? This is the Schmitz, um, 130. Is that what that is? <laughs> Yeah, but you also got some 14, um, 9014, so... Yeah, you're pretty up there. That's about what you got. Okay, 9014s. No. <coughs> well, I don't know which number to look for. Yeah. I bought the one that said leather. <laughs> so, straight stitching on this was a little easier than zigzagging on this. Okay. But, yeah, it's also the different heights, and it's... We're messing with that needle by going through so many layers and then having uneven textures underneath the layers. I'll guess this one... This... So this one has the exact, for jeans and denim, this has the exact same numbers in the front. I know, but it's the shape of the needles that's different, so with... Right, but I mean, if he's going to give me a number to look for and the numbers are identical, then that does, leads me nowhere on the shelf. Yeah, <laughs> but these are heavy duty, and the difference between the leather needle and the denim needle is the denim needle has a rounded tip so mm -hmm. that it goes between the fibers. Sure. The leather needle has a triangle tip so it stabs through sure. the... Do, but do you understand what I'm saying? But the numbers, yeah. If he tells me to get a 120 and both of these say 130, there's no difference. No. <laughs> they no. need to be different numbers. Yeah. I'm just saying the sharpness makes a bigger difference yeah. than this. I understand that. Than the toughness. I mean, there's a letter difference, but it's just. Yeah, you can show them. Which yeah. one's the one? Camera two or three? Oh, uh, two is fine. No, I hear you and I understand. They're never going to, to read it because if I get too close, it just goes out of focus, unfortunately. <laughs> but. Um, I tried. No, I tried. Uh, yeah, we tried. Uh, and and I, I hear you. It's just like... Mm. <laughs> You're trying. I'm trying. But it, it, real quick, use a 120. It's all right. Well, this brand doesn't use numbers like that. It's, apparently it's an H or a double L. That's the you only thing the difference on the serial, serial numbers. You got the heaviest one they had. Yeah. yeah. But I got them for free, so whatever. <laughs> Get what you pay for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta enjoy the free. So we have a greetings from small town Indiana. Oh, right on. Hello, Glad Indiana. I caught you live. Was taking some recycling to the drop off and found a stash of wire coat hangers. Adam Savage swears by them. As do I. I, I have said for many, many years, wire coat hangers are some of the best uh, cheap wire. They're, they're, they're tougher than armature wire. The, they were free and quite abundant for many, many years. Uh, wire coat hanger, going back to living props, is what's inside of the fingers on my face hugger. And the tail. And how I break into my car whenever I lock my keys in. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and how I break into my car whenever I lock my keys in. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I've done that. In fact, I've got a wire coat hanger lying in the bed of my truck right now. <laughs> For that exact purpose. For that exact purpose. Yeah, no. Wire coat hangers are the best. Yeah. They, they are. They're horrible if you're trying to, like, organize your closet and have a nice closet. And, and they're perfect if you want to do a, uh, uh, was that Debbie Reynolds uh, cosplay? <laughs> no more wire hangers, but um, uh, but they're, they're great for crafting, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, uh, there was a point in time we were on a shoot and uh, up in um, Portland, and yeah, it was Portland, and I realized I didn't have any, I didn't pack any, and, and that's just really what I needed. So literally, me and the sound guy looked up a dry cleaners, went to a dry cleaners, and said, this may sound really silly, I just need a few wire hangers for a craft project I'm doing. <laughs> and I think I tipped the guy like five bucks because he gave me four or five. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like, here, get a coffee, thank you. <laughs> now, those things have saved my life on more than one occasion. Yeah. <laughs> they are great for crafting. And like I said, I've been locked out of my car a few too many times. A few too many times. times, yeah. Okay, now that I've pressed these seams, if you wouldn't no. mind marking... Pressed ham? <laughs> I know, right? No. If you Steamed ham, that's what it is. Okay. So when 
on the actual game, he uh -huh. has those stitches that go across. Right. Every so often. Okay. So if we pre-mark little dots and holes where okay. those stitches are, all right, we uh, can come back through and then do the quick little lacing. The quick little lacing, and if we're marking it, then it's consistent. Yeah. Great. So you want, Shirley, do you want me to just guess like every centimeter, or do we want to? Um... I'll show you the picture real quick. Okay. So you have a reference. Let my broken eyes get over here so I can see it. I know. So what's your guy right here? Yep. So. Be able to see on that one? No, not on this one, of course not. But see how there's stitches every inch or so? Oh, oh, those are really big stitches. Okay. Yeah, they're big stitches. So if we just mark oh, where. Oh, he's got vertical ones too. Yeah, they're right along where that's how they attach the chain mail and that's how right. they sewed the leather. Okay. So if we mark it every inch or so, then we just have to come back in with the. Uh, um, a shoe lace, well, one of these. Well, right, okay. And then just lace it like it's a pair of shoes. See, as I go very slowly through this and see if I can't get to. Show them the picture? Yeah, if I can. Do we have those capabilities? We, we, I think we do. Okay. But. Apparently he doesn't like that picture. So which one oh, the one, the one, the one that I want to use the, is the one that can is the one that it's it's not happy with whatever format it's got. Yeah. Well, that one will work. Uh, I can't blow. I can't zoom in on it, so you're not gonna be able to see it. I, mean, oh, okay. I can bring it over there, but good point. Yeah, sorry. I tried. Right, so did I. And it's okay. Yeah, I can't turn the can. No, not not at the moment. Nope, not at all. All right. Okay. We tried. Here, hold on. Let me kick this. So. I will take this. Okay. So this seam has the stitching, and this seam has the stitching, and it's every inch or so. It's every inch or so, and it's just like this, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I happen to know somebody's favorite ruler is over here. <laughs> yes, that is my favorite ruler. <laughs> I don't think I really need other rulers other than that ruler. That's good because the other trend, the other clear one seems to have walked off. Which one? Which, oh, the little one. Yeah. Oh. Which, which doesn't make me happy, uh, but it seems to. Okay. I promise I didn't take it this time. <laughs> it was your ruler if you didn't take it? That's pretty okay. <laughs> was it mine? Yeah. You brought both, didn't you? I actually. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that one was mine. I may have. It wouldn't surprise me, but no, that one's my favorite one. That's just letting us know it's... One day I will put my phone on silent before we start a live stream. Details. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm rattling around in a box trying to find something to work with. And stab the holes each time as opposed to marking them and stabbing them. Just stab them. Yeah. I just want something that's, that's kind of straight and stabby. Straight and stabby. Straight and stabby. There we are. Linda Pfeiffer says, I just want to say your videos are inspiring. Keep up the good work. I'm glad. Oh, I hope you're you. crafting something while we are. Right. And even if you're not, I hope we inspire you to pick up a craft project. Um, Dan Does Junk says, no one said it yet. My shirt, Odin. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Dan. Um, I appreciate you bringing it. I have worn their shirt on, on the show once before. It's, it's going to happen, that, that uh, repeat shirts. <gasps> Repeating? Outfits? Repeating outfits, but there was a reason for wearing a repeating outfit today. Now, I was going to get to it earlier, but all of a sudden the screen kind of went black. So today, specifically this exact calendar day, four years ago, was my very first video for Odin Makes. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> I had no idea. January 18th, 2017 was the blue shell for from Mario Kart. And that was the very first Odin Makes video. So that's... And the blue shell's right there. The blue shell's right up there. We should pull it down. Sure. It It'll get be. dust all over everything. <laughs> oh yeah, and then I'm going to start sneezing and be like... Ah, oh, yeah, that'd be great. It's like I'll move Bane's mask. Because yeah, I got stuff stacked. But yeah, so how long ago was that? About that much dust ago. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 I can't. No? Okay, I'm moving it away. But but yeah, the first video I did uh, when I was still working out of Zot's shop that I was uh, working out of, that's why the set was different. And something amusing to me is that recently, 
I've gotten a few new comments on that particular video. Nice. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's interesting. Like, How many years? How many years? Four. Four. Yes, uh, 2017. 2017. 2020, 21. So it's four years. Time has yeah, it's just... Yeah, like 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's been a year. We're no longer in 2020. <laughs> right? <laughs> wow. Well, happy anniversary, Odin Thank you. Makes. Thank you. And that's why I decided to order the Odin Make shirt today. Because I had a couple other ideas. Because I've got another eight or so shirts uh, currently that I can cycle through. Ready before, to go for? Yeah, before I really need to... to, to think about what I'm going to do differently, but it's like, no, no, I kind of need to wear this one today. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Happy anniversary. Thank you. William Connor says, congratulations, that's awesome. Thank you, William. <laughs> Aniko Fire King says, it's a soft awe, uh, like you're trying to lift something up, but you hurt your back. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, Nico. Okay. There you go. Um, Leah Jones says, I just watched that video. I just started watching your channel. Well, thank you, Leah. That's a good place to start with the first one, right? Uh, it is. You can see how my, my channel has evolved. So the very first videos I did, the intent was for them. So not only when, it, okay, step back. The very first videos I did. There were three things going on at the same time. I was trying to do my own channel, so I was doing a video every other week. I was still a contractor for DIY Prop Shop, and they would want a video every six weeks or so, or four weeks, somewhere around there. And then I was also working full time uh, at the local KVIE, uh, which is the local PBS station. KVIE is the, is the call letters of the station. It is the local PBS station. That's where I know Rob Stewart from, who may or may not be back in the chat room. Hey, Rob, if you are. Um, so I was juggling all three of those things at the same time. So the plan initially with Odin Makes was shorter videos that were quicker to shoot, uh, quicker to watch, could get, kind of get them out because I don't, didn't feel like I had the time to, to get things going. So now four years later, and I'm well over a year into Odin Makes being the only thing I'm doing. And that's a big reason why my, my videos that is that is the reason for why my videos went weekly and why I'm putting out a video every single Wednesday now. But it is a big reason for why my videos have grown in length from five minute videos to now 20 minute videos. Uh, the the ad revenue is a, is a huge part of it too because it's my only income. So I, you know. I thought it was because you got the better editor. Yeah. I mean the new editor. Yeah, yeah. I also got the new editor. That, <laughs> Sorry, that, that, I was just easy. No, that's fine. I uh, Not long before I got the new editor, I was having some longer videos as well. Yeah. Uh, but having them consistently, Yes, it's because my wife started editing the videos, and um, uh, not not here today taking care of some other things, but uh, well on our way to getting this Monday's video done, which is uh, a video that was requested, in my mind specifically, right here from you guys during the live stream. I don't know if it's come up today or not, but I am doing the Baskar Spear from The Mandalorian. That's the video for this Wednesday. Um, and... Uh, so thank you for those requests. Just to let you know, I do see most of them. <laughs> uh, I do see the, the, the requests that you guys make during the live stream. I just don't make it a habit to read every one of them out. Because I see that you'll repeat it over and over and over again, hoping that I'll say it. Yeah. My fear when we started is we were getting flooded with only requests and not interactive questions. That it would just become this hotline of, yeah, I can build that. Yeah, I can build that. Yeah, I can build that. Yeah, I can. Oh, that sounds cool. And that's not what I wanted to do. But we can I hope do that, that doesn't sound too. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hoity-toity. Hoity-toity. Yeah, too too full of myself. Yeah. Hoity-toity. Yeah, but once the switcher's done, if we ever finish it, we can do one where we just <laughs> read all your requests. That was actually the plan. The first thing we're going to do after we get done with the Witcher is strictly uh, fan appreciation. Talk to you guys. Um, read your requests. Yeah. And then we'll, then we'll move on to something else. Because you are welcome, like I've said more than once, you are welcome to come by for as many Mondays as you want. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Absolutely. For, the, for those of you who don't know, good friend of mine, known her for years, not on the payroll. She's here because... She, I enjoy this? She enjoys this? Actually, through the live stream was kind of, not entirely her idea, but but kind of pushing for it. It's like, hey, I got Mondays off. Can we do another live stream? It's like, sure. And that's kind of what really got the ball rolling. I've been yeah. thinking about doing Twitch or doing live streams on a more consistent basis. 
But having a co-host is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So it's talking to a little black box. Right. For me, I'm talking to a little black box. And I kind of imagine, have you ever seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Uh, yeah. Well, they had a ride a at Disneyland called Honey, I Shrunk the Audience in the middle right. of, like, I don't know how you end up in that ride, but it, you think you're going to Star Wars, but anyways. You, right. <laughs> well, it's, it's over where Captain EO was and kind of over where... I, do they even still have it? Captain EO came back. Well, the briefly. Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I imagine that's what is right there. It's a little tiny audience. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Not like the little box. Right. That we could just carry him around. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't. You guys have to stay there. <laughs> stay. <laughs> yes. It would be kind of fun to carry them around. I was trying to get a laptop working again. I think I almost do. I just never seem to give myself time to get it set up to where we could carry the audience around. One of the requests we get a lot is to give more of a tour of the office, which we did briefly for the Halloween stream. Yeah. Happy to do it again. Happy to give you a, a tour of the studio. But honestly, it's just a, a disheveled mess. So, um, you know, look, look at the counter behind me. Yeah, you know, the best side is the camera side, right? <laughs> so, um. <laughs> so, happy fourth. Uh, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Well, I was, you know, Odin, Odin makes it happen. But yeah, Martin yeah. Luther King Jr. Day happens, happens to be here, too. Yes. Yeah. It ha the, this year happened to be on the same date. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. But absolutely, Martin Luther King did. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's crazy as today is. I think it is appropriate. <laughs> right. You know. Yep. It's today drama. is the best day to break a mirror day. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So I'm going to just press this a little bit better. I want to do the stitching before we put on the lining. Okay. Because then it will be hidden. <laughs> so the back to, will be hidden. Trying to think about how to put the holes in for the stitching because I can I can use my thing, which is a little slow. I can hammer it with the uh, but that's hammering, which works so well the microphone. Well, so we need to make a hole big enough that the little leather can go through, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so it has to go across, and then you go down, and then across, and go down. And it makes this little Z, but you only see yeah. the stitches in the front. Right, we're only seeing the horizontal lines of the Z, not the... Um... Yeah. I would do them closer to the seam line. You're a little far out. Yeah, that was, okay. That's kind of what I was seeing in... in... All right, well, I've got well, a series of holes. Are we going to... Um... See, it Will looks he like make the holes go away? No, we'll use them. It works for me. That okay. could be the back. Okay. Yeah, this one's the back anyways. Because this is the nicer. You can only tell okay. visually this is the nicer stuff. Okay. Yeah. So this is the back anyways. All right. So. We'll see what it looks like. So you want it more half and half? Well, this one has to match this one. Okay. <laughs> whichever, whichever. <laughs> I, I saw it as being more off to the more off to one side than the other. All right. See, they're only about, they're every inch down, but they're only about a half an inch wide, the stitching. Okay. So a quarter inch on either side of the seam line would give you about a half an inch of a stitch. But since you're over the chain mail, I would only go about a half an inch up. Okay. I will do that on that one. I'll make sure it's half an inch, half an inch, because I'm not. Yeah. And it was intentional for me to not be half an inch, half an inch, because I saw that and then immediately transpose it the other way. Because I walked away from the picture where I can't see it, so I couldn't double check it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. why I thought the top was black. But although I did have the game up the other day and it matches and I don't care. <laughs> yeah. But yes, you stop looking at the picture, your reference, and then all of a sudden the... Oh, yeah. Which when I was doing the Star Wars, uh, Star Trek props for uh, the live stream show we did called The Prime Directive a long time ago, I knew the props well enough. I actually liked them better when I did them from memory and they were off than when I was trying to be really, really accurate. And, and everyone still knew what they were, and they looked great. No, like, yeah. I noticed that at the costume shop a lot, because you could be exactly, exactly, and people will be like, no, that's not right. But the way they remember it yeah. is more right, no matter how right you are, if that makes any sense. Yeah. It's the... It's the perceived, it's the, which is the biggest problem with doing anything props. It's the perceived how the prop is versus how the prop was actually made. Yeah. Yeah. No, yep. I get it. Yep. 
All right, how do I get the chat back up? Because I hid them. Um, yeah. There we go. Okay. That or alt tab. Hey, we got a blue, blue. What's the, what's the teal say? That is from Lego Man 2597. Hello, Lego Man. I'm, I'm all for that name. <laughs> thank you, Odin and Felicia from Bonnie, Scotland. You guys are awesome. You make Monday so much better. Also, thank you for making the Vesker Spear. Beskers? How do you spell it? Pronounce uh, it? Beskar. Beskar. Yeah. That's something I've never seen Beskar. written out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was spelling a B A S K R, but it's B E S K R. That's how he so spelled it. He spelled it correctly. He's spelling it correctly. So when I first start reading and, and talking about it, I'm pronouncing it wrong. So you can notice that in the video. I'll say Baskar, but it's actually Beskar. So uh, when I was a kid, I called it Star Trek. So, you know. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, how do you do, Lego Man? Hello, Lego Man. Yes. You're very welcome. Uh, what have we got over here? Okay, Jacob Obert says, Hey Odin, I started a new job today where I get to make stuff, but it's scary because I barely know the basics. Any advice on overcoming the stress of a new job? Um, take it easy. Know that everyone else who was there was also at one time new, and if they're actually interested in being your friend and not just, you know, want to be mean, they're going to be understanding and probably want to help you succeed. I, don't, I, I haven't met very many people who want you to fail. Uh, and most of those people, when I do come across them, you just sidestep it and try to get them out of your life, which can be really hard when they're at work. But, you know, it's w uh, what I've done. So I would, you know, it, it's really hard to say. You just kind of go, I'm here, I'm going to do this, and I get to go home in X many hours. And that's yeah. it. <laughs> okay, so I have some advice for there you. There you go. I know right. I'm not Odin, but I did just recently get kind of my dream job. Right. <laughs> recently where I get to make things every day. And to tell you the honest truth, although I had technically all the qualifications and blah, 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 and experience and I knew what I was doing. Right. It's a whole lot of mistakes. No matter what new job you have. You're right. learning. With me, it's the... The personalities of the fabrics you know what things do you're going to make mistakes yep you're gonna make them royally yeah make them in the beginning ask all the questions right own your mistakes yes own your mistakes make them learn from them you know because I feel like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no this is, this is reminding me when I was first starting doing yeah. video editing at the station when I really when I was learning you know you make your mistakes but you really learn yeah. Like by that humble, I don't care, I will rip it out, I will do it again. As you know, like you raise your standards, mm -hmm. you're humble, you're not above corrections. Right. <laughs> Correction, you know, like you take advice, but you make your mistakes and you learn from them. And it's okay to make mistakes because mm -hmm. that's the best way to learn. Yeah. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I was just. We'll get right to the point. Sorry. Yeah. No, I just recently, so like. I, nervous knots in my stomachs because you don't want to screw it up because it's enjoyable. You love it. Right. You you don't want to get, oh, this person's worthless and kicked right out. Yeah, but at the same time, I made my fair share of mistakes. Right. And what's great is everybody makes mistakes at my job and we all understand. And when somebody new comes in and they make a mistake and it's like, I can't explain to you with words on how to do that without you kind of going, this is really hard and this doesn't work. Oh. That makes sense. You know, makes you sense. just right. don't know until you know. Right. And you don't know until you make mistakes. Yep. And you got to be nice to yourself as you make those mistakes. Yeah. Learning yeah, yeah. pains or growing pains. So that's my advice as since I'm just there. But yeah. I, I like it. It's better. I like with the way you said it. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> so hope that helps. Hope that helps. And congratulations on getting a job that you enjoy. So. Yes. That's huge. And I like your pointing stick. That was really cool. Is that the video? Yeah, that's the video. That's the prop for the video. I like it. <laughs> that's all That's all the best car spear is. <laughs> so yeah, I even in the video address how the, the point is a bit sharp and it's not very forgiving. It is plastic, but it's... Yeah, that doesn't mean you yeah. can get a paper cut. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. So <laughs> I don't know. That's that, 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 that one really, really walks the line on being... Con safe, as I like, as I like to put it. Not that I'm an authority on con safe. I just like to pretend it like. Really, is just whoever they're people. Yeah, yeah, they're people. exactly. They're people. They're people, and it's plastic. Yep. Okay, so you're stabbing those. So I've got these marked. I need to make them bigger so the heavier thread, the the so the leather thong. What is this leather? They call it lace. Shoe right. lace. Can actually go through it. Um, so I need to either. 
What happened to that really cool tool you had that, oh wait, wasn't that too big? This might be too big. I think it might be too big. Yeah, that's, that's too big. That's way too big. Okay. okay. Then uh, I'm stuck with... Um, other pokey things? Well, I've got other pokey things. Oh, there you go. That would work. That's what that's for. Yeah. Because that's... A stand. Can I do the leather punch without? Uh, oh, hey, yes, I needed something to pokey with. Wonder, oh, there's an awl. Wonder if this will actually make it just do it. Big enough. Well, that's what awls are for. Right. Kept talking about that's this, my... and then we never had one. You never, no, well, I never had one until recently, and so now I've got one little tiny awl. This is my little two dollar awl that I got. Well, that's all so I, it has to be. That's all it has to be. <laughs> and so you know, I shouldn't be surprised that it's the size it is for the price I paid. <laughs> well. That's also exactly what it's meant for doing. Right. So but that might be... Still not quite big enough. Right. Because these are pretty heavy duty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was worth well, a try. Yeah. Okay. I can still, you know, use it as a stepping stone, maybe. Jacob Obert says, Thanks for the words of wisdom, Odin. Glad I was able to catch some of the stream. Oh, good. Um... Albert Duff says, I've been having to watch your Monday stream on Tuesday, but actually caught you guys live. Yay! 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 Well, hello live, as I've got my back to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is how you know it's live. Right. Uh, Meticulous Dolphin says, nice Mando spear. Thank you. And Jacob, Jakob, Jakobo, Zahir, please read this hello. 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 I didn't read it. I read it. Okay. <laughs> Technically. Technically. Um, hey, Odin, you didn't make one of the best I marble didn't. props. Make the MK-50 arc reactor. Oh, the Mark 50 arc reactor? Right. I haven't made any arc reactors yet. Have I? I have, yeah, I made Tony Stark's version of the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I haven't made an arc reactor yet. This is, this is true. Goes to the list. Goes to the list. The ever, ever growing, ever... <laughs> Oh, I wonder, do I have that? Jacob Obert says, and Felicia, two wise words indeed. I'm a few minutes behind in the stream. Aren't we all? <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> and Mark Knight says, good evening, all. Well, Mark Knight, good evening to you, too. Um, Jack of all trades says, all right, Odin, I'm doing this, the trademark caps. I got to say thank you for being <laughs> there for me, getting me through my darkest days with your vids. Thank you. You're totally welcome. Glad we totally open there. there, yeah, Jack, Jack of all trades, absolutely. So thank, thank you for sharing that with me during your uh, your podcast. So, yeah. Um, Mark Knight says, "Hey, please don't forget to point out safety tips to our young ones watching. Remember, safety third. I mean, um, <laughs> safety first. third. Uh, yes, important safety tips: hot things burn, sharp things cut. Yes." Watch your fingers. And it's actually kind of, when you get going on something, sometimes it's hard to remember that. That very simple little thing, it can be difficult to, to remember. Right? Yeah, unfortunately. Especially when you know you're ignoring it right. yourself. Uh, so having a, a, a reasonable fear of saws is not unreasonable because uh, if you can keep mind of where your fingers are and where the saw is, then maybe you can keep the two of them separate. Fingers. Yeah. Um. Uh, somebody. Arse. Arse. Is it like arson? <laughs> arse. <Arby> Stylist <laughs> gamer fifty six. I'm just butchering names. <laughs> says, how does he only have hundred and eight views? It's because the live stream totally crashed. <laughs> because the live stream totally crashed, and and I wouldn't expect everyone to come back from a crash. Right. So. It's all, it's all good. Well, we'll survive this somehow. No, um, it'll be fine. Jordan Lovey says, Odin, you're the best prop maker on YouTube. Oh, thank you. There's some really talented prop makers on YouTube. That's quite a compliment. Thank you. Um, Mark Knight wants to know what the heck you are building right now. Literally, uh, we are working on the Witcher armor. So what I'm doing right now is taking... Uh, a leather lace and um, threading it through the foam. And what I'm specifically doing is I was quickly running into a problem where Camera two. even though I punched holes into it, right? So I've got 
There's my hole at. I can see it on this side. So I got my hole that I punched into it. There's too much grippage with the with the foam itself to just push the leather strand through the foam. So instead, I'm taking a leather punch tool and I'm pushing that through the hole until the metal comes through. And that makes it easy, hopefully you can see it, to put the leather strand into the punch and then I can pull both of them through the foam and I can get a hold of it. Because I'm trying to figure out how I can do this in a way that's not going to take all day. No, it's going to take all day. It takes time. It takes time, yeah, but I don't need to fight with each one. Right. That's why they have needles. <laughs> right. So the other thing I need to do as I go is make sure I'm giving myself enough slack so I'm not having to... Squid Stick says I'm hungry. Bye. Bye, Bye. Squid Stick. Calamari's pretty good. Um, it can be a little chewy sometimes. It can be. Um, da, 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 da. Ricky Boner says hi, Odin. Hello, Ricky Boner. Make sure I got that name right. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's Bonner. Bonner. That makes a bit of a difference. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bonner. <laughs> hey, I'm just reading this. Right. Okay. Um, do you have the Velcro? Is that still in the box or is that somewhere special? No, it's still in the box. So there's a there's a box of Velcro back in the corner. Um, and it's so it's nowhere nowhere particularly special. Oh I see. You got this giant box of Velcro. Yeah, I think it's even written Velcro on the side. Well, I can't see the side. Uh, that's that's yeah, that makes sense. Here's what about the sticky velcro? I don't know if I bought a lot of sticky Velcro because I don't... No, I got some. Like, I got a couple packs. Oh, okay. I thought it was in the stuff, but this stuff will totally work. No, that shouldn't be in that stuff. Uh, if you bought the sticky Velcro, if it's not in the, this project box. Ah, we'll just use the what we got because we're okay. just going to glue it anyways. Oops, sorry. I totally... I'm blocking this camera. Yeah, whatever. Okay. You can put us back on one if you want. There you go. And it doesn't say Velcro on the side of the box. Ha ha ha. Oh, darn it. Wanted it. I wanted it too. <laughs> Not just when I was telling you, but in general. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Cause... I've actually started to try to label my boxes, you know. Make my mom proud. <laughs> I just use clear boxes. So I can know what's in the contents from a mile away. And then I organize things by rainbow color. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's no, costume shops and... Yeah. Lots, so many things that I'm not an organized person, but you have to be. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. So, clear boxes are my friend. Okay. Let's see. Jordan Levy wants to know, how would you describe your love for foam? Professional? <laughs> um, I don't know. It was, uh, I was in college the first time I really got to use foam for, for making puppet and, and so then it was a, wasn't a hard leap for me to take it into using uh, for costumes, doing using foam for costumes. And uh, I just, I like it. Um, I know I've seen it even earlier than that. Like there were, uh, there was test footage of the Rancor from Return of the Jedi, which was a few years prior to me being in college, uh, community college, where they made a suit for an actor before they went to the, the quarter scale puppet, and that was made out of foam, much like how Frank and Polita ended up making one for uh, for San Diego Comic Con. Um, so I've just recognized that foam is absolutely a great material to use for making costumes for bulking things out. So I I like it a lot, and I like it also because it's very fast to work with. When I use, I mean, not that plastic is really that long, or or wood does really take a whole lot of time, but it does compared to foam. <laughs> Foam has a lot of the best of both worlds. It does. Yeah. yeah. And then it's, you know, durability is low. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's, it has its, got its place. Some, yeah. It has its place. Exactly. It's, but, it is not the catch-all be-all. No. No. But it's great. But going back to do I have a budget, uh, foam is usually more budget conscious for me as well. I mean, I can get a, a good amount of HD foam for $15 and that'll last me a couple of projects. And that doesn't sound like breaking the bank to me. No. So, and then that's retail, yeah. you know, right? that's, <laughs> that's walking to the store, which I can almost do. People and, <laughs> think just because you make it homemade that it's going to be cheaper. Right. No, 
No. It it, it adds up really quick. There's it does. the cost of the string. There's the cost of the foam. The cost of the paint. Right. Just every little thing. Every, it yeah. It all adds up. So uh, and and on that same idea, I'm not afraid to buy a larger quantity of something. Um, I can get a $5 thing of, of contact cement. I buy the $35 gallon of contact cement because I know I'm going to use it all up. And it is far cheaper per ounce to just buy it that way. Do I need a certain number of metric screws for putting together the, 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 the rivets that go on the pauldrons of this costume? Yeah, I didn't bother to count how many. I got a dozen of two different sizes just to make sure I had long enough and enough. Yeah. And, and if I've got too many, I would rather spend an extra dollar buying four extra screws than to drive again to the hardware store, pick up two extra screws, and drive back. That's a lot more time and a lot more gas than you know the dollar of screws. And this is why I'm a hoarder. <laughs> and this is why I'm a hoarder. Yeah. And yeah. this is why I end up being Craft a hoarder. supplies, because, you know. Yeah. Uh, now, there's definitely... Uh, checks and balances of that. You can't hoard everything because you don't no, have space you, for it. No, but you use it. Yeah, it's but you your use business. It. It's an investment. It's completely. No, I get it. Like if yeah. you do it, you do it, and it's worth it. And right, yeah. but you also have to be. <laughs> do I really need this? Okay, there's that. I was just laughing. You have to be organized enough, which I'm not, to uh, remember what you've got, so you're not going out and buying something again because you can't find it because it's buried and or it's you cheaper just to just completely go. Completely forgot you've got it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Toby, Bruno, go fight over there. Not there. So you kind of need to be an organized hoarder, and that is the trick. Or you need to monetize your hoarding. You need to monetize your hoarding. Decades you costumes right there. Yes, there you go. There's somebody who definitely turned their hoarding obsession of costumes into a business. Yes, no, makes... If, if that was... Yeah, no, that was totally... A hoarding obsession of costumes? Yes, okay. that was great collection of costumes. It, it was, was a, a great collection of costumes, yeah. Yes, no, but it was profitable. Oh, yeah. So, yay. Okay, let's see what people are saying. Um, oh, why safety officer once said, in case of fire, exit building before tweeting about it. So. <laughs> yes, thank you, why safety officer. <laughs> Uh, Linda Pfeiffer says, thank you for answering my question about making the flimstiver. I the hope, fl it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much to ask. No, no, Cloudy the Chance of Meatballs is a great movie. I really like that movie. <laughs> and that's what the flimstiver is. That's what yeah. makes it work, yeah. <laughs> Jack Smith wants to know how y'all are doing today. Doing pretty good, Jack Smith. Yeah. Thank you. I'm We're here. Much happier. Uh, I, I managed to break a mirror, so I got that out of the way. Uh, the, the internet went down not long after that. I was happy that, that Felicia pointed that out, so I've got something correlated to it. And we're celebrating four years of Odin Makes. We're celebrating four years of Odin Makes today. Yes, so today to specifically. That. January 18th, 2017 was my first video in, on uh, for Odin Makes. So, yeah. <laughs> way back when I had 65 subscribers. <laughs> should make another channel called Odin 3D Prints. Uh, okay, I, I'm not opposed to it. I'm trying to get an area set up that's got a little more temperature and dust controlled for 3D in printing. In progress. So that is in progress. Well, I've been that. saying that for months, but honestly, putting a video out every week and trying, and, and I started doing bigger projects has taken a lot of, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of, I, I have no downtime. What spare time? Yeah, what, what spare time? Extra time. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what sleep is for, right? Spare time. Although there is a 3D project that I've been just kind of oh, going yeah? crazy about. The, 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 um, the mantle for the Queen of Wakanda, you know, that white piece that's 3D printed? It's like a shrug, but it's like... Wow, no, I don't remember. The Queen of Wakanda's mantle? Yeah, she, no. she has this great mantle and then the matching 3D printed hat. It's okay. based off of the Egyptian style hats. I made them out of cardboard. We had them at decades, but hers is 3D printed and I okay. love it. Okay. And I love her shoulder piece and I want that shoulder piece so freaking bad. That Okay. <laughs> cool. I was going to be like, hey, Odin, can I see a 3D printer? But except for you have to gather the right material for that one because it needs to be slightly flexible right. to get it on. So I don't think resin would technically work. And... I've got a couple of FDM printers. I just got to get them yeah. up and working and reliable again. But yeah. Anyways, that'd be a cool show. Yeah. I'm done. Um, 
you know, you are welcome if you ever want to just do your own build. I'd be happy to let you guest host an actual <laughs> weekly video. <laughs> I, I hope you guys wouldn't mind, but uh, you know, I'm down for that. And if you don't, well, that's okay too. I'm not going to force you to do that because that's not necessarily what you want to do. <laughs> no worries. Sounds fun. Um. You never see Felicia on Judge Judy, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I love Judge Judy. <laughs> she don't take nobody's crap. I, I would have to say, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I haven't ever seen Felicia on Judge Judy. <laughs> I have had a friend who's on Judge Judy, so oh, there's yeah? that, yeah. Okay, that's way better than the coworker who was on Cops. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Do I know them? No, you don't. Oh, know. okay, Dave. Oh, that's, that's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Um... Hello, Odin. I'm from the Northwest U.S. How do you spend your weekends? Normally, working. Um, this past weekend, I actually went home. <laughs> I spent 48 hours at home straight, and that's the longest I've spent at home in one go in about a year. Wow. Yeah, I, I just no time off. So uh, that's the goal for 2021 is to... Uh, uh, try to have every Saturday off and just being at home. Yay, yeah, for Saturdays the whole, the whole off. time, exactly. So don't come back. Go go home Friday night. Don't come back until you know Sunday afternoon, and that is that is a goal for this year. Fancy Alchemist guy says, "Have you ever thought of doing something from Full Metal Alchemist?" Like, I can't pronounce that. His right. Alphonse Al Eric's helmet. Er okay, Eric's helmet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Those Which? are. Full Metal Alchemist yeah. is that anime with is the, the anime where, where the, yeah yeah uh, with the brothers with the brothers one who's got the metal arm one who's full metal yeah the full and, metal and they've got the chimera with the, the dog person and yeah yeah um, I have eventually yeah eventually On the I list. have thought about it when it comes down to doing a metal arm Full Metal Alchemist is certainly popular so is Johnny Silver Arm as I said the cyberpunk the cyberpunk and I, I would venture to say that Winter Soldier is probably the most requested Silver Arm and. I can't remember which arm is in Full Metal Alchemist, but I think they're all left arms. Yeah. Even Cable's got a left arm, <laughs> a left bionic arm. You know, but the thing is, is I do all of their arms differently. They are. Yeah, they're all different. Like, Full Metal Alchemist is way more like plate mail armor. Yeah, like that one I could see building up. Yeah. But the cyberpunk, I would probably want to do as... Um, it, it needs to be like a... A glove, a like a silver glove sleeve. and with yeah. the details printed on it so it's as narrow and thin and right and maybe, maybe even stick some light LEDs of, in there that you know like very, just to make it does he have lighted LEDs no but not necessarily but I would probably right. throw something in there so it just looks like it's flashing and like okay. you know mechanically right. anyways I would keep that as um close to the you only have this much space <laughs> right My arms that's the hardest part and then Depending on how much you work out would be how much you do the Winter Soldier or... Right. Because you also don't want one buff arm. No, you don't, it would all be army from <laughs> Rick and Morty. Um, yeah. Exactly. And then uh, Cable is, of course, huge and buff like that. But his his arm really isn't much different in look than the Winter Soldier's arm. I mean, there is a, a yeah. bit of a difference. But they both have a lot of banding. Just Cable has a lot of uh, corrugated tubing in his joints. Yeah. yeah. Where Winter Soldier doesn't. Winter Soldier is more like Colossus. Where it's yeah. just. But you also build up one arm. Yeah. And even though it's not very much, you significantly are bigger on this side. Right. You have, you have to make sure that whatever you're doing is pretty... So, something to think about, but yeah, yeah they're all different. It's interesting. You've got a lot of left arms you can do. <laughs> got a lot of left arms you can do. But you have a lot of random left hands. I do. i got a right-handed doom. <laughs> right. I have a right-handed doom and I have a right-handed uh, Gatlin gun. What else do I have for a right what, hand? What is the gauntlet? The Infinity Gauntlet. Isn't that the, a left hand? That's a left hand, yeah. Yeah, yeah that one's a left hand. Okay. Uh, but the Tony Stark one is a right hand. <laughs> Do you pre-plan which side, <laughs> or is it no, just like, oh, it ended that, up? Being that's that's what it is because I'm I'm just building something that was in in uh, media. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one looks right. Mm -hmm. Twisted there, not twisted. Darren Calvin knows a guy that was on Jerry Springer. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not life goals. <laughs> Oh, hey Odin, you should make a big version of your logo for the channel's anniversary. Right, uh, I've got one hanging over the door. It's not that big, but I've got a I've got a foam logo that I make that I've taken to cons with me. Is as, that like the a, one that I did the picture of? Maybe. In the 
Um, it's just hanging by the door out, out here. I mean, no, it, the 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 sheet I sent you in the the sheets. Yes, yes. That was the one. Yeah, that was one of the ones that was like, hey, you should do a big. It's not a big, but you know. It would work. Yeah. You have one. I, I have one. Not Maybe that I you can't should bring make it out. another one. Yeah. <laughs> make it out of something crazy, not foam. <laughs> no. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> would do such a thing. Why would I make something? Yeah. <laughs> and specifically, the Odin Makes logo is made from the Harper Freak Tools floor mat foam. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Um, how does Felicia decide whose name she will or won't say? I've noticed it's rather hit or miss. I don't know. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's hit or miss. Um, for me, I will briefly pre-read to make sure that it isn't a, hey, Odin, can you make up? And that's all it is. Um, so I try to ask real questions that will actually have more of a lengthy, or try to read real questions. They'll have a more lengthy interactive answer. Uh, but otherwise, who? Yeah, it's totally hit or miss. But it just moves really fast. Yeah, it just and moves. it's like, wait, I was going to read that one. Where did it go? So it's right. just whatever I look over my shoulder and see. I'm not purposely ignoring anyone. Yeah, just, we're absolutely not ignoring. Although we are ignoring the Patreons right now, like completely right. on the Discord. <laughs> what are they saying? Oh, well, here you go. Uh, the new messages. We got Rick Skinner and something from Darren. Uh, So Rick Skinner was talking more about the leather needles going back half an hour. Yeah. About 1.30 is correct. And then... Gromit is prime says grommets! Grommets! Grommets, you know. Yeah. I'm not actually using grommets at the moment, but yes. And then... It's made of cheese, grommets. Rick Skinner says, wow, 1.30. Felicia is correct. It has to be the edges of the chain mail foam in the middle. I don't know what... THW is short for. The. It's probably a, a typo for the. Oh, okay. The edges of the chainmail. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for saying I was right. <laughs> um, and then. I don't want to immediately say someone's wrong. Because anytime I step the fast and go, no, you're wrong, I'm immediately proven how, no, they're right. So. <laughs> I always assume there's a million wrong ways to do something. <laughs> Absolutely. And then Darren... And that's how Odin makes. <laughs> there you go. And Darren Calvin says, Oh, hey, I'm an hour late again. Oh, well, hello, Calvin. It's all right. We've got... It's 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 15 minutes to 2 o'clock. We like to sign off at 2 o'clock, which means you've got at least another half an hour. <laughs> right? Hey, Odin, what's going wrong with your Mega X? I haven't played with it in a while. Um... So, uh, which Mega X now? Because they're, they're both Mega Xs, right? The FDM printer and the resin printer are both Mega Xs. Um, you had one still right. with something upside down in it. Right. Well, that one's just a regular photon that's completely reliable. So I've heard recently you can use acetone for cleaning up your resin prints. That makes I sense. haven't tried that yet, but if you can, that's great. Because, believe it or not, acetone is cheaper than, than rubbing alcohol, which is weird to me. It shouldn't Nail be. Nail polish remover. Super cheap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Must be an industrial waste product. Um, <laughs> so what's was. wrong with it? Uh, the last couple times I was trying to use my Anycubic Mega X FDM printer, I think I just had old filament, and, and it was um, the needle was getting clogged, or the, the the extruder was getting clogged, and it was just it, it would print and then suddenly sputter and stop, and we keep moving because it had no idea because the runout sensor didn't run out, but it wasn't actually producing anything, and so after. I don't know how many failed prints doing that. I just quit using it. Um, the Mega X for the resin one, sorry. I think the, the build plate isn't level. I think I got one of the early ones where the build plate is actually concave a little bit. And so it causes a problem with trying to print something. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I was just going to ask you with if, it, if it was the same as in sewing machines. If the nozzle is broken on the right. printer, it's just kind of like replace the nozzle. Except for those are kind of a pain in the ass. Um, they are, they're not. It depends. I think the Mega X isn't hard to replace because like a hot glue gun, you can, because that's actually what it is. Yeah. You can remove it and you can clean it out yeah. a little bit. Um, and that may be all it really needs. Um, because if it's splattery and that's what the issue is, that's 
the first thing I would change. Yeah, it was. It but was, the other one with the fleck, that makes sense too. Yeah, well, that was that all was the, the, little the factors. Factors. All the little factors. All the little factors. Then uh, I'm I'm sure temperature is a big issue because when I finally started just printing in my office where I don't really want to print because I'm in the same room with it making noise in the same room with 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 the fumes, um, it would print a lot better because there was more temperature control, right? Um, no, I I remember. Yeah. Judging your little 3D yeah. prints going, this one sucks, this one's much better. Right. <laughs> uh, also, I think uh, vibration has some issues with it, too. The train? The train. That might. Yeah. Knocking things. Knocking things around because... just kind of shifting. I've got cameras that hang, and I have tools that hang on, on the back shelf here. And when the train goes by, when I'm uh, re-watching the, the video later, I can see the other camera angles move because the train's going by, or one of the reflective tools starts shimmering. Yeah, and I could see the, and it's not the gonna take tip a of it being a pendulum shaking in a yeah. train shape. Okay, yeah. Lots of factors into whether your 3D printer is going to work today. Right. And am I right on any of that? I have no idea. I'm totally guessing here because it's it's weird to me that it is so consistently printing disappointment. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much discouraged from 3D printing at this point because uh, I pretty much know what I'm going to get. Disappointed. That's sad. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Okay. And it's one of those things that if you just spend the time to figure it out, you can figure it out. I'm not willing to put that kind of effort into it because I need to get going on next week's video. And I can't babysit. nobody got babysit. time for that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Sometimes it's just like, I can't deal with that problem. It's just going to have to be... And, and I've been doing that for months. So, yeah, this is what happens. What has happened and what's happening. Here I was trying to tighten it up. You because, tightened it for sure. Because I didn't want to uh, didn't want to cut it, you know. You have enough. You can fix it. Yeah. I'm not going to finish it today anyway. No, never. We're just taking our time. We'll do it right. You know, that doesn't look bad, but I do think that those need to be, like, that big. Okay. As opposed to that big. It's okay. It's the back. Okay, let's see what people say. Um, okay, so I, Brett Langford says, I've been working on my own version of the Hidden Blade from Assassin's Creed. That's a dual action, but it's way slower to make than I thought, and I never have the energy to finish. Any advice? Those Whoa. things are not the easiest, and I've had to deal with those multiple shoots. Oh yeah, specifically. Uh, also, you're you're at the yeah. The rests. They're tiny, and you're trying to do, get it to spring load. It's a portion of the project where you don't have a deadline, and you have to get yourself to do it, and that is the yeah. yeah. That's where my dress is currently. <laughs> right. No, that's that that's a very real thing. Um, any advice? There isn't really any. Oh yeah, you do this. If you're at a stopping point to where you don't have a puzzle to fix, you've just got drudgery, to, to use an Adam Savage term, to, to muck your way through, you really have no choice but to put on galoshes and go muck through it. Uh, <laughs> but also sometimes if you don't like where you're going and you know it's the wrong directions, it's sometimes a good point to just stop, walk away, come yeah. rip it apart, walk away. And right. then when you come back, you have to put it together, but you come back with the knowledge of already having put it together. Okay. So it goes yeah. back together a little bit better, and you can really take your time and analyze it. So sometimes I have to, like I said, I don't like it. I don't like where I'm going. This isn't working. Is it a stopping point, and I have to stop here and go forward, or is it one of these where I just have to acknowledge that this is we're not going in the right direction? It's time to break it off. Right. Let's rip it apart, walk away, come back with fresh brains. But then you have to actually walk back with fresh brains. Yes. You can't just go, now it's in pieces. I don't want to come back to it because it's that problem. That and what's printing. funny to me, this isn't exactly the same thing. There's been plenty of times when I had to do a step. It's like, oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. I don't want to do this. That one step you avoid and do everything else other than that. 15 minutes later, it's done. That's that's always like, <sighs> why was I building this up to be so much bigger than it actually was? Because in your brain, you weren't sure it was going to work. Okay. Yeah. At least that's with me. Yeah. In fact, I was watching a William Shakespeare video a few months ago now. He was joking about um, that exact thing, that he had a project, I think it was his alien xenomorph build, 
where it was on hold for a year because it was a process he didn't want to do. And when he finally said, fine, forget it, I'm going to do it, it took him like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. So literally, he procrastinated a year over 20 minutes worth of effort. So, yes, <laughs> procrastination is a real thing. It is. We all do it. Those Assassin's Creed blades are not the easiest. They're not easy. There is no easy way to do them. The way I got it to be easy is we got the toy ones. <laughs> right. But you were, you were doing a production where... Uh, I just needed them to work. And right. I just couldn't. Just, I couldn't. It didn't matter. <laughs> it was not easy. And um, the other ones were built by... What's her face? Jack Jacqueline? Jacqueline. Jackie. Yeah. Jackie. She, yeah, she's cool. Yeah, no. She... she I saw hers and I went, I don't think I can make this functioning and build the costume and dress everybody and do this. So I was like, hey, can right. we just get the toys that they make? <laughs> and that's a real thing. So we're talking in, in sense of doing a video production. We have to get a number of costumes made, a number of props made in order to get going the next Tuesday to do a video shoot for Smosh years in the past. Yeah. That, that directly translates to, I want to make a new costume or a cosplay for a con and there's everything I got to do so I can be recognizable as that person at the con. Do enough that you're recognizable. You, you, you've got a hidden blade, so you're working on your hidden blade because you want to do the full costume. Just make it so people know what it is, and then the next con, perfect the blade because you can spend all the time on just that. You've got the rest of it mostly done. And when the blade works, and then the third con comes along, now you've got all the additional stitching that goes on the hood to really make the hood be the right texture. So yeah. on and so forth. We, um, not you, but we did Guar costumes for Halloween six or seven years in a row each year, adding to the costumes, remaking parts, making new molds. By the end, uh, we were pretty on par with the group themselves as far as the quality of our costumes. In the beginning, no, it was just cut couch foam that was spray painted black because that's all we had time for. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get the bracers all wrapped up the way you want it and have the blade sticking out and just use that during the con, take off right. the blade itself. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be spring action loaded. No. The first it's, time you wear it, it can just cool. look cool. Right. You know, for photos, who's, it doesn't have it doesn't to. doesn't have to. You know. And I'm specifically doing it to make a Godzilla build. Uh, I want to make the mouth move. Haven't bothered to put that mechanism in yet, other than I've got the hinge and the spring to hold it shut. I want to have the head rotate. I've got a real basic, dirty version of that that almost works but doesn't. I'll get to that when I have other things perfected. I want to do the the lightning attack that's behind the, the trap door in the chest. None of that is even hooked up because all of it will happen later after I have arms, after I have legs, because it's more important to me to have the whole thing over having a trapdoor. <laughs> but you know, that's Not getting me. stuck on the little pieces. Right. Kind of seeing big picture versus little picture. Do you right. have the whole outfit? Did you get that really cool sweater and now you just want to have the, you know? Right. <laughs> so just keep doing it. Just and as long as it looks pretty in cameras. Right. You can that, duct tape it in place. That's the other fun thing. There's there's the awesomeness of, of seeing it in person and, 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 and the experience of it. But long term, people are going to see pictures. So even though we have video brain, um, I, I would still argue that even at, at con cosplays, if it's picture worthy, you're on the right course. Well, even with the Assassin's Creed music video, we didn't need the pop out action. We either showed the blades out, right, or we showed them in. You know, like it wasn't like as they didn't big have a to. deal as we thought. You know, you can watch the whole music video. We have so many shots. That that was never really... Yeah, that wasn't important. In either of the Assassin's Creed music videos. In either of them. In either of them, okay. Yeah, no, interesting. But it's, yes, you think that it's, but big picture, there was a lot more things. Yeah. But that little detail, like, it's important. Right? Oh, it is important, yeah. And to make one that actually pops out would be really cool. And that's why we had the toy one that did work. Yep. <laughs> because I just didn't have confidence in my time and skills all working out at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff for one person. Did that answer your question? We, I hope it does. We, we went we down rambled. that path for a while. That's how Odin rambles. Welcome to, welcome to the Monday Odin Ramble. Jordan Levy wants to know, do you think you get more done, work done when you're not streaming? Yes. Yes. A lot. Like, this would actually be done. Yeah, it goes back to uh, uh, a lot of managers less talky, more worky. You know. Get to work. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Linda Pfeiffer says, that's what I said last year. I'm sorry. Yeah. What did she say last year? I don't know. Oh, okay. But, but I'm sure you said that last year. Yeah. Um, 
Mega Godzilla is Mega Bandicoot confirmed by me. Don't question my knowledge. I know the secrets of the universe. That is Squid Stick. I okay, thought he was hungry and left. I thought he was. Maybe he got his squid snacks and he came back. I wonder if he Mega Bandicoot, fish sticks. huh? <laughs> I wonder if he likes fish sticks. I wonder. I'll be honest, I have a few fish sticks in the freezer right now. One of those things. I haven't had those in years. And I had half my bag. And I don't know if I can run to finishing it. <laughs> um. Brent Langford says, do you have any advice when a mechanism or piece for a build doesn't work at all, even close to as well as you want, but there's really no other way to make it work, like, at all? Um, I have felt that there's no other way to make things work at all, but I'm willing to bet there is. Um, it this just, thing, it takes some... It takes some major uh, uh, creative thinking in how to make it happen. So she's bringing out a great example of a prop I made that did not work the way I wanted it to. I you went through tried, the effort. You tried, and you. I tried. I went through the effort to put a hidden button here to make the 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 Phoenix gem light up electronically, oh, so you could actually super hold on to it. Yeah. So so you could hold on to it and actually make it light up. Uh, I kept having problems. And I was running out of time getting it to make. So what I have in here now. I, I made a mold and I uh, got a, a, a clear urethane cast of the Phoenix gem that I sculpted. Let's see, I found one the other day. What I've got in there <laughs> This is how old that is. <laughs> it's it's an Easter toy. So all it is, the packaging gives it the ears, but all it is is a bouncy ball that flashes. This literally is inside of here. Keep that away from Bruno. He really likes light up bouncy balls. Okay, I'll keep that away from Bruno. Yes. <laughs> but no, there's not only one way to make it work. Sometimes, like I said, rip it apart or just walk away and come back with fresh eyes. Like right. literally go eat dinner. Yeah, pretty much. Go eat dinner, change, change. Take a shower, walk away. Do something completely, get your brain out of it and come back at it. And if you're still confident that that's the way it ought to be done, go ahead and do it. Right. And if you're just like, you know what, no, no, I think there might be another way. I might have to wait a week till this thing comes in the mail or blah, 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 right. blah, blah, right for the, wait for and, the right tool. And I could see if you built yourself into a corner because you, you, you limit options the closer you get to what you're doing with yeah. how you're building it. And also order of operations matter. <laughs> yeah. So um, creative thinking is definitely an important part of it. But... But yeah, you can have totally think something's gonna work one way, and, and it doesn't go in a different direction. You want to watch another video for that me with that? <clears throat> so there's another published video I had where I had the exact same thing happen: the Wonder Woman shield, where I went through all the effort, and it took me well about a week to make a plaster cast to do a form for doing Wonder Woman shield, only to have made it too big. And I totally wasn't happy with the shield at all, so I quickly made a secondary shield based off of some of the knowledge that I had gotten from making that form. And the second shield went a lot faster, it looked a lot better, and it actually went off to a Patreon when I was giving props away to Patreons. So, yeah. you know, yeah. The second time it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. When I have to make five of some props or puppets or things that have to match, I usually make the first one to figure right. out all my mistakes, and then I start doing the other four all at the same time. Yeah. I've seen it mentioned on the Replica Prop Forum a number of times that usually the third version is the right version. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, again, going back to, I don't give myself enough time. I'm usually, my first version is what's coming out. And that's, I don't give myself enough time. Yep. I thought your phone was the mouse for a second. Oh. Anyways. I don't think my phone has that app. <laughs> Not yet. Not right. yet. Can we get a Monday Odin Ramble series? I love hearing creative people talk about their passions. Isn't that what this is? Aren't we rambling? Isn't this rambling with a light peppering of crafting? Right? <laughs> like rambling and talking about crafts with the idea of finishing a project one day? Yeah, one day, someday. Oh, by the end of the year. You know what? I bet you think we'll be done with this by the end of this year. <laughs> <laughs> one can hope, right? One can hope. Yeah, but there's always another piece. There's always another piece. Well, I believe we were 
our, 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 our goal with this one was just the chest armor with maybe a few of the accoutrements that went on the chest armor. So we're not worried about the pants, we're not worried about the boots, we're not worried about gauntlets, undershirt, we're not worried about... <laughs> no, we just have the pauldrons and yeah. the clamshell and the girdle. Yeah. And... And the clamshell is 75% there. straps. I think, I think so. Because I think those look cool. I think that's... And we have like a whole bunch of belts and leftover fabric that it yeah. didn't take any effort to really just... But... So we say. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy peasy, but it's not easy as easy peasy. for camera and people and talking and getting things accomplished. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. It's 2.05. Oh, wow. Time does fly, but Time we also does... did have that crazy We had a crazy break. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Yes. How are y'all doing? Stick it in here. I know sometimes you have a, an out. But, uh... No, not today. Okay. Today is a holiday. Oh, yes, that's right. Okay. Not just your own holiday. Not just my, no, my, my day is not a holiday. It just happens to be the calendar day I did it. It what is an that? actual real American holiday right now. <laughs> I feel like it's like that episode of WandaVision. What does that heart mean today? <laughs> right. On the calendar? <laughs> There's something to happen in today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Hart's going to come and visit. So, yes, I did watch WandaVision. I did enjoy WandaVision. Um, with the episodes that have come out so far, I'm specifically only talking about the two that have been released. I haven't seen anything in particular I definitely want to build. Um, there's a couple of little jokes in there. I'll, I will try to sidestep saying anything specific for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, but I don't think those are enough. So I'm going to wait for future episodes because I've seen stuff from the trailers that you have mentioned that isn't a bad idea. Uh, it's actually a good idea. But I'm, I'm still kind of waiting to see what I want to do. Pulse. Yeah. Because... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure, you know, we've seen the first two episodes. It's setting itself up, and, and it's it's not where it's going to go yet. And uh, we've got nine episodes, so we got, you know, what, seven more to go? I think it's nine. <laughs> so. Yeah. No, I, like, if they released them all at once, you know we'd all be done with them. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. They're trying to walk the line between streaming service and, and appointment TV. And if you have a series that lasts more than one month, you'll have subscribers for more than one month. Oh, there you go. And everybody who wants to wait to watch it all at once it's streaming, well, that's all they're going to pay for anyway. That that was my assumption. Darren Calvin says, if you walk away from that panel without finishing threading it, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Not really, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Odin ties his shoes. <laughs> Odin ties his shoes. I don't. Of all things, uh, the, 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 the shoes I'm wearing right now that I'm very happy with, I found slip-on Doc Martens. I'm, I'm happy with them. <laughs> and your <horn> nugs. <laughs> so neither one of us currently tie our shoes. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Lacing. Like anyway. Totally. Sure. So uh, as of right now, for all of you who are watching, this live stream will continue until I have super glued the ends of this lacing and the back panel has got this much lacing taken care of. Yes. Yeah, that's definitely the back. <laughs> yeah. Is it really bad? No, it's okay. just the proportions are bothering me. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. But I like the way this looks, like, a lot. I think this is really the look. And if anything, I would take a little um, shoe polish. Sure. Uh, to just darken it. To darken them up? Yeah. Yeah, just make them look a little more blended in. But I think that's exactly the look we need. Okay, they just need to be, to be smaller yeah. on the front. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then th these lines also get those, but... Yeah. Yeah. That'll happen later. And we'll Eventually. Need to buy, we'll have to buy more of this stuff. Uh, we have time. <laughs> yes. Because you still have time. Even though I bought an awl, I'm using this, which, unlike the awl, uh, digs into your hand because it's just this little It doesn't sharp, have the... It doesn't have the nice, oh, hey, flat thing, but um, it makes a bigger this hole. This looks like a dental tool. Ooh. It does, and people call them that all the time. It's not. It's just a. It's a. It's a wax carving tool. It's, it's it, a it's poker still kind stick. Of, it's, it's a poker stick. Yeah, but mm -hmm. to to poke things, not for royal flushes. Um, yeah. Um, this the chest stomach piece so far. Yes, this is the. Ch st this is the stomach piece. Yeah, this so is got, the stomach yeah. and back. So this is the. I. Uh, do we have a photo to send with the fitting? 
We have a photo of the fitting. Yeah, do you want to show them more? Because we had a test fitting last week. Yeah, so we could. So uh, on, on the bus, there you go. One, two, three, four. You might actually have to use, and then the top, not the black one, but the one above it. You almost had it. The little button right above it. I can't see it because your cup's in the way. <laughs> so you, you, so next to four, you got the two buttons. And the one on still? top, still, yeah, that should bring up. There we go. The test fitting of what we're working with. <laughs> okay, so if we're looking at this, we curved it up for movement, but I realized we didn't, we just needed to shorten the whole thing. So we're gonna straighten that line out so it's like the video game. Cool, which line are you talking about? Where the clamshell meets the meets girdle. The chain mail, so right, right across the bottom of the chest, that Yes, line. and okay. we have enough chain mail that it's not going, you We're not gonna, have any we got spaces. coverage. We have coverage. I okay. brought it up because it needed to come up, and so we might as well just make the whole thing straight. Okay, cool. So there's that. We're stitching it, and it needs to lace. Now, technically, the shoulders work for this, but if we wanted to be able to make our person be able to sword fight in this costume, right? I would... Hold on, let me go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Right, because I just drew them up, and the shoulders are very in line leave, with a sleeve. I'm going to leave this here just because it's kind of in a good spot. Is it? Okay. But I would go, we have um, the rivets. I would bring it in one rivet and bring in the, sh the armhole. Maybe I should bring it over here. You're in the dark. I am. <laughs> that, that, that portion's not really lit that well. It's almost like it was intentional. Yeah, but in order to add a little more motion, I would probably come in to this rivet and bring it in and then Oops. blend it back to where we have the armhole out. So you can see in the dust. Yep. I would just carve out the armhole a little bit more. It doesn't, it's not necessary for looks, but it's if you want more of a sword fighting right. action. It's, it's the issue of, um, we don't have no clip in the real world. <laughs> Which computers can ignore. <laughs> what? Uh, no clip. Clip, no clip. It's when the polygons can move into each other. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Stuff actually has to so, allow for movement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the shoulder coming here is fine, but you have something that you're going to be fighting around, but just bringing in the, sh the armhole slightly to mm -hmm. where I would even do the narrower shoulder for that. It would give you more motion. Keeping the shoulder where it is, right at the shoulder to shoulder, works because if you look in the game, it's about about three inches of overhang from the um, where his shoulder ends to where the pauldron ends to then where the next piece falls down. So it works proportionately. It's just if I wanted to add more motion for the person who has to wear this, I could, but I'm not going to. But I am going to straighten out the bottom line because then it looks more like the game art. Yeah. And that's more important that it looks like the game art than the person has motion. No. It, it, uh, generally speaking, yeah. Uh, yeah. I have priorities. <laughs> um, yay, more time with them. Oh, wow, we are like 15, almost 15 minutes over. Yeah. 13 minutes over. Yeah. How's your lacing going? Oh, we're, we'll be here another 15 minutes at least. Okay, so. I'm trying. As long as I don't stop and talk a long time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Na 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 na, Batman. Na 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 na. Yeah, that's more than that so that they wrote. <laughs> But that's only if they're trying to yes. actually write out the song as opposed to the old cartoon, which is a whole bunch of grandmothers sitting next to each other, and then Batman at the end of the bench. So it was na 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 Batman. <laughs> I don't know. I could sing that for hours when I was a kid. Right. Watch them all the yeah. time. Yeah. No, that's a good earworm. Yeah. Grot Gerson. Root Gerson. Root. Quote. I throw in one last question before going to bed. Have right. you considered making an act at Commander chess piece or another SW character chess plate? Uh, have I considered? Yes, it has occurred to me. Uh, and the and the at at Commander um, chess plate is very similar to the Tank Commander chess plate. is is identical except for paint jobs to the Dengar chess plate. And yeah, I've thought about that. Um, I just haven't. It's the only reason, the only thing I've got is I haven't. In fact, yeah, uh, but there's a million. Yeah, things Mo that I you think just Moff haven't. Gideon's chest plate is kind of a smaller version of the Adat Commander chest plate. It's kind of like a nice, happy mix between Vader and the Adat Commander. So yeah, not um, out of the realm of not, not out of the realm of possibilities. <laughs> That's one of those. Ideally, it would be vacuum formed. Realistically. 
It's going to be better to fall. Yeah. <laughs> so, fun time spring. Bonnie says hello and back. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back, spring bunny. We're still here. We're still here. Says Someone says, or Darren Calvin says, quick, someone distract him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Um, Squid Stick says, I'm watching this and I don't even know what the Witcher is. That's okay. He That's still okay. just has awesome armor and we get to play with chainmail and I make a badass guy costume. I right. don't know. It's a book series. It's a video game series. It's a Netflix series. It's, you know, it's kind of all over the place. It's it's a thing. It's a and it's a badass monster, character with yeah. a badass, uh, badass costume. Yeah. 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 So, it's okay. Yep. Totally. We're crafting. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We are crafting. Crafting. Um, <laughs> I'm crafting. I'm not. <laughs> I'm it's watching okay. you craft. There's been a couple of weeks where roles have been reversed. So, not yeah. worried about it at all. Yeah. Now, Groot Garrison says, Thanks, Odin. Now I can sleep with joy. Take care, folks. Have a wonderful day slash night. All well, sweet awesome. dreams to you, Sweet Groot. dreams to you. And sweet dreams to Toby and Bruno. Sweet dreams to Toby and Bruno. They who, have been very chill this well, Let's street. go ahead at number three. They're actually that's, being very chill right now. That's what it's on. Oh, it is actually on. Oh, is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. They are passed out. They weren't bothering us. They didn't no. need to be held. Right. They weren't making a lot of barking. And yeah, yeah. guys, thank you very much for passing out and being comfy. There yes. you go. <laughs> I know, right? Make armor for the doggos. I have. You have? It doesn't last. The thing is, is I made these things, but Toby <laughs> will wear that. Bruno, he gets... Bruno likes to... Chew on Toby in general, so he yeah. just sees Toby as a giant chew toy, and then... Anything Toby's wearing is an extension of his chew toy. <laughs> yes, and then Toby gets jealous if Bruno's wearing an outfit, and he's not, and will tear the outfit off of Bruno. Wow. Because... He gets jealous. Like, I don't have to put a leash on Toby because I know he will stay right next to me, but I have to put one on Bruno because Bruno doesn't listen. Right. And so Toby be like, why does he have a leash and I don't? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, hi, Toby. I'm talking about you. Yeah. Well, it's also the time. So they may be like, hey, it's it's that time you guys usually let us move around. Right? No, they don't. So, no. no. So now I need to just... I'm, I need a tiny bit more slack that I don't have, so I need to work all the laces through. But they're all... Uh, through. They're all through. I'm just trying to super glue it down and not super glue my finger to it because that is every crafter's dream. I'm going to use super glue and I'm not going to glue me to it. I have never <laughs> used super glue and never got, not gotten it on my fingers. Right. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, I'm pretty good today, but this is the third time. That I put a drop How on. How does um, super glue do with vinyl? Like the surface of vinyl versus the back of vinyl? Uh, I think you still have to rough it up. I think you still have to uh, really scar up the back of the vinyl uh, or, the, or the, the, the surface of the vinyl in order to give it tooth for super glue to grip because it just peels off. Yeah. Um, I need to go find out what it was again. They said what it was, but. Britt Duran, when she did uh, the inflatable boot for uh, for Punish Props, found a vinyl glue, and she was using it to glue um, the, the, the kind of frosted lightweight vinyl you get for the fabric store. Mm -hmm. She was gluing that together to make this inflatable boot, and it glued together well enough they could inflate it. Okay, because there's a couple yeah. places where I wanted to use glue, right? but we were going to just use the rivets because it was... Technically, okay. there are rivets there, but honestly, I'd glue it in place and then rivet it. Yeah. And I was wondering if super glue would work if I had to just take a little nail file and just scratch it a little bit, we, or if I sh if yeah. get vinyl glue. If they have vinyl glue, I just might as well use vinyl glue. Yeah. It's one of those, technically they have it. I have yet to play with the vinyl glue that I like. I've even bought glue made to repair your lacrosse uh, galoshes, and it didn't glue my vinyl gas masks together the way I wanted it to. Okay, because so. <laughs> I don't want to stitch through this. Yeah. Because that's a little hard. But when we stretch, when we straighten out that bottom edge, uh huh. when it's all finished, I wanted to pre-stitch a strip of leather and then just glue it look, so it looks like it's stitched on. I know okay. technically we could stitch it on, but I just don't want to do that leather, that thick of foam. like With this type of leather 
Yeah, I just don't want to play <clears throat> stitching with it where I could just stitch the vinyl and then glue it in the position place yeah. so it looks like it's stitched. Okay. But I didn't want to use hot glue. No. I was thinking super glue could work. I could just peel it up, but I don't want to have a seam right where they meet up. I'd rather it just be over the top. Sure. We we're, I'm, I'm happy to try it. If anybody actually knows and you're not just spitballing, oh, try epoxy, try Tucon blood, try, you know, then please let us know. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, no, I it's, kinda... it's, it's gotten to be almost an internal Odin joke that I just try to avoid vinyl because I can't glue anything to it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I love vinyl, but I also don't love vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, I love vinyl because it repels everything. I hate vinyl because I can't glue it because it repels everything. <laughs> yeah, I like it because no poor animal has to die for the creation of it. And it right. just feels a little nicer. But at the same time, leather's so much easier to work with. Yeah. Significantly significantly eh. but you know the interesting things you get with vinyl right so we are 20 minutes over right well i'm just chasing and the lacing we up are almost done is there any questions you want before before we actually officially you say really start signing off here right <laughs> there's lots of ways to procrastinate at the end but this is how odin stalls yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's okay squid stick over here his pinky went numb so there's a oh poor, poor. squid stick <laughs> Is that, a, is that like a side effect of listening to people ramble for too long? Could be. Could be. Um, yeah, you can get shots for that. Harvey Harrison says, I glue vinyl with UHU glue. Okay. UHU glue. Is that the uh, UHU? First thing that comes to mind is, is, is the glue that you, that's a, a, a glue stick glue, but that's not, that's not what it is. Is that the silicon glue, the, the, the silicon putty glue? I feel like that's a Googleable question for after this. It is a Googleable question, but yeah. that's interesting that of all the things, that is actually something I've heard of, okay. but it didn't occur to me to try gluing vinyl with it. Okay. But now I'm trying to recall how I heard of it. Yeah, like well, I, I have yeah. to see the bottle. like. Right, or the package, because if yeah. it's if it's that, so, no, that's not UHU. Is not that, that. Somebody's asking if they have UHU in the U.S. That would be. That would be a good thing to, to yeah. They may not, especially California or, yeah. Like they have all these like laws about cancer causing agents and stuff. Right. Yeah. Safety third. Safety third, yeah. You know, <laughs> newsflash: living in a city can, can cause cancer. So. <laughs> Okay, so Connor Cook says, hey guys, you probably think I'm obsessed with Predator, but what Predator movie version is your two favorites, including AVP? I haven't seen any of them, so I'm sorry. You have seen any Predator movies? No, I have not. Okay. No, Sheltered Child, there's a lot of things that I have to catch up on. That's one of them. That's, you can actually sidestep half the movies. Okay. <laughs> no, no offense, Connor. Um, which is my favorite? Probably the OG. I really like the Kevin Peter Hall Predator. I really like the original Predator. Even though that was an emergency fix suit, I really like it. I Sometimes really like the way it those looks. those turn out better. I yeah. feel like I've had some of those emergencies. Uh, this is like, you shouldn't be doing this this last minute. Right. But I loved it so much better than what I had originally intended. So there's, I'm never opposed to... Never opposed to that. And I think another part of it is, it is what it is. When, when you start doing a sequel, you get... I call it sequelitis, where, okay, well, we had a predator. Now we need a spiked predator. Now we need a predator with an eighth arm. Now we need, you know, which those, those are exaggerations. Predator 2.0. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and you get, you do get some cool predators. Like you get the Predalien, right, from Aliens versus Predator, because the idea of the xenomorph and why it has a human form is it takes on the form of the host that it gestates out of. Uh, that's why, theoretically, in Alien 3, it runs around on all fours because it comes out like of a, a dog. Like a true virus, you know. Like a true virus, yeah, exactly. Let's replicate our hosts and right. then get them to trust us enough to let us spread them. Anyways, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, exactly. So in, in Aliens vs. Predator, at the end of it, one comes out of the chest of a, of, of a predator. So an alien chest burster comes out, of, and you get the Predalien. So you've got an alien that has the predator mandibles, and it's a little beefier and a little taller, and you have to deal with that, you know, later on. Um, so that is really cool, and I'm, I'm all for that. They did that in the comics, too. But uh, honestly, I think the Kevin Peter Hall, the original Predator, where they only had to make the one suit, they made a lot more, you know, they made pieces for it, but 
I don't know. I, that, that, that's probably classic. my favorite. Yeah, classic. Yes. And I end up doing that a lot. Like, I want to do a cosplay of somebody. Well, I'm going to do the starting cosplay because I usually like the look of the starting. It gives not you always. what you... It gives you something to compare to. Also, yeah. you saw it this way first, and so that's the way your mind sees it. Right. So that makes sense. Yep. Just, just okay. a me thing. All right. So I'm gonna ask answer these last couple questions, and cool. then we can start signing off. Look at it! It's looking right. I love it. We're going to have something uh, somebody can wear soon. I'm, I'm a little more concave than it is, but yeah. <laughs> or convex. <laughs> There's also the side curves too. Right. Um, let's see. Totally fine. I agree. LOL. Sidestep. That last one, the Predator, Felicia. Yeah, I totally. Right. Agree. But I hadn't seen it, so I can't answer. <laughs> I, I saw that in a drive-in with a, with a friend where neither one of us was smart enough to bring a radio that actually worked. Oh, I thought you were going to say neither of you were paying attention. <laughs> well, there's that too. Uh, <laughs> but it isn't for that reason. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, okay. we couldn't hear it, and 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 we had the dog with us, and that was a, a, a you know took yeah. a lot more attention to keep keep control of the dog. Um, that one had a lot of promise, but like a lot of films, it fell apart at the very end. And I, and I got to wonder if that was the way it was written or if somebody in a suit stepped in and said, you know what, you know what the fans really want, what they really want? No. <laughs> Has that ever worked? It's more like what I really want. Yeah. I want to make this, but anyways. No. Um, let's see. Had a look on the video of Punish Props in the description. It was listed as HH66 International Strength Vinyl Cement Glue. HH66? Yeah, HH66 Industrial Strength Vinyl Cement Glue. Okay. There's um, something I just got to write down. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, yeah. It's an adhesive glue in a yellow tube. I made some Nazgul gauntlets, and it was brilliant for me. Hopefully, it can oh. get cheap enough to try, LOL. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, apparently, it's common in Germany. Okay. And Darren Calvin says, Google says HH66 vinyl cement is a thing. Shrug. Um, okay. So well, we apparently, have to... Apparently we need to do an Amazon search loose. here in just a minute. Yeah. yeah. And then Crope Nick wanted to know, how did you start crafting things? I don't know. Um, childhood. Yes, childhood. I was always a creative kid because I grew up in a creative household. So the idea of not crafting was just not a concept. How did I get started crafting? I was making really crummy clay dinosaurs in kindergarten. You know, it's, it's just Lego. It, it just the, the desire to be creative, to craft, to create has always been there. Crafter's gonna craft. Crafter's gonna craft. It's <laughs> that, that, that particular itch has never gone away. That particular, you know, insert humorous derogatory term here has never gone away. Um, quite literally, Odin makes is me doing the stuff I used to do to entertain myself when I wasn't at work. So, you know, yeah. yeah. what I used to, like, I make money so that I could afford to right. make things. To make things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I used to put myself into debt to make these silly things when I was trying to pay off all the other bills as well. Now I can put myself into debt to making these silly things and, and claim it's what I'm doing for work. <laughs> um, there was one last question, and then I think we are almost... Oh, I lost it. Jeez, Louise, there's a lot of... It's a lot of great questions. Right? It's almost like we need another third person here just to moderate the chat. I mean, actually in the building and, and give us the good questions to answer. And maybe that's what we need to do with None of the Witcher is, is to have like Joe or somebody else here that can help. Uh, this is the next question you need to answer. Time. This is the next question you need to answer. <laughs> right? Yeah. That would because make life. Because we'll easy. ramble for too long. And I have no rhyme or reason as to what common I read or as to why or what or anything. So. Yeah. In case in point, we're well over a minute now of talking about how we need to have a better control of what questions we're answering. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. So. So I'm nearsighted. I just see, you know, white on black. I can kind of see the, the text, but I can't read any single one okay, of those. Okay, the last one I wanted to read was okay. from Artman2019. Sweet, Artman! When you said you got my box, I was losing my mind. And during the stream, I felt like I was being trolled because I thought you forgot. We totally mentioned it and then totally left it under the thing. And then we mentioned it and didn't oh. open it. And then we <laughs> finally opened right. it. Right. I wasn't trying to troll you at all. Um, We're just not that organized. <laughs> I was trying to be organized. I was, um, 
one of the things I was kind of trying to do was I, I was thinking if the stream starts at noon, then at one o'clock I wanted to open up anything I got as as fan mail, any packages that showed up. By the way, if you want to send something that we open up uh, on the live stream, I believe the PO box is in the description of this video. Feel free to send something there addressed to either me or Felicia. We'd be happy to open it up on, on air. If it happens to be something that's inappropriate to share when we actually see it, then know that we're probably not going to share it. But we'll, um, laugh. <laughs> we'll laugh. Yeah. Uh, but but art man, no, it's it's great, and actually uh, I'm planning on building that helmet using your pattern, and it's going to be one of the projects I'm going to do in February. So nice. yeah, it's going to happen. So I think we've rambled on. We okay. got part of a project done. We got part of a project done. We got we broke through two or three sewing needles. We, we got, ironed today. We ironed. I so know. We, we talked about so irons. We we ironed. We stitched to reinforce. I put cosmetic stitches in that are. Okay, they'll look better on a person. We are going to add more stitches along this seam line right here. Right. And we are going to add a um, bias lining. Tape. <laughs> we could do bias tape, but I think lining would be yeah. a better look. Yeah. And then after we do the lining, then we'll put in the grommets. Okay. Order of operations matter. Right. Are these stitches going to be the same as these stitches? Or yes, do we but need they need to be narrower. Yeah. Yes. But it'll be the same thickness of... Yes. Okay. So same you, cording. Same cording. Same so you'll get more distance, of this cording. but it's only going to be a half an inch. Off to Michael's. Why oh, I wish I could just go to Tandy. Well, you have a week. Well, uh, Tandy's not open to the public right now. Is it not? Well, well I, I could double check. I still have the wholesale license on my profile, so technically, if you need to go in as a wholesaler, you can still use my number. I would love to. Okay, that would be, be so. a great way to do it. it or, or maybe, you know, it's one of those we can buy it and schedule to go and pick it up. But uh, That's true, because they'd be smart if they did that. Anyways, yeah, um, I love Because of the pandemic, um, most of the Tandy we retail have, locations closed. Yeah, but Sacramento's out of... Um, well, Sacramento is, but Tandy's out of Texas. They don't care about Sacramento. No, I know, but they're based... Oh, they're no Thomas. Yeah. The building. Like, as business no, restrictions go, technically things have been lifted. Technically things have been lifted, right. So yeah. I, but it all depends Doesn't on... Doesn't mean on, I'm going out, but... On, on, how the, on, on a corporate level, because on a corporate level, Tandy closed. It wasn't just local. Every... That breaks my heart. <laughs> well, it's not permanent. Every, okay. to, as I was reading, every retail location uh, closed temporarily due to the pandemic, and they were only fulfilling orders online, and I think they might have had a pickup schedule. Okay. But none of them were open to the public, only like the San Antonio one was. But they're not clearing them out. They're not They're not closing up shop. Okay. They just locked the doors because of the pandemic. No, okay, good. Yeah. I, I Totally, be safe. Uh, yeah, be All right. safe. So and, we'll and get some more lacing from somewhere. From somewhere. And, yeah. And I love that Tandy leather in Sacramento was on Tandy Drive. Right? And it's totally not named for the same thing. Tandy Drive is named after Tandy Computers. <laughs> Yeah, which is also not around, and I believe from Texas. <laughs> Yay for Texas. Yay, Texas. So. So. It's it's been a Monday. Half an hour past when we were supposed to end, but we also did have our unscheduled break. Right, so we, we've, we've had uh, almost a two hours of, of, of straight talk this time. I want to thank all of you who have stuck around for the extra half hour as we talked about Tandy. And... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just, I appreciate, hey, how's it going? I appreciate your company. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your willingness to hang out with me and with Felicia every Monday like you guys do. That's really cool. And honestly, I look forward to Mondays and I hope you enjoy them too. You have? Yeah, I enjoy this too. I, like you said, I'm here because I want to be, so. Right. That is how I ramble and Odin makes. <laughs> and this is how I ramble and Felicia makes. Yes, but so thank you all very, very much. And I know that there's going to be a million different ways that you could live stream a project, but this is how we live stream. I think you can hit the button over there. Okay. Squinting okay. hard. I think it's this one here, end stream, right? And then it says, uh, not yet. And this one says, okay, right? Yeah. So I'll click the okay button. Bye.